What is up, Humanoid Nation? I decided just to tell you, hey, Humanoid Free has a fan page. Yay! Wait, I got one better. Humanoid Freak has a fan page. Yay! Thank you, Kermit. Anyways, now that I have said that out of the way, for anyone who cares, yay, I guess, you can go on there and basically we can hang out and basically hunt hobos all day long. I don't know. Hunt hobos? Yeah. I said it. Hunt hobos. Yeah. Hunt hobos. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just doing random bullshit right now. And speaking of random bullshit, you know what's pretty awesome about having now having a cane to walk? Because I'm really pretty much gimped out with my right leg. And the reason I'm pretty much gimped out right now is because of more fans. Fuck. If you don't know what more fans is, Fuck you, editor, which is me. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Check it out. I'm not going to explain the whole thing because it's way too long. If you guys want to know what I have, that's what I have. Yes, yeah, since birth. But anyways, beyond that, having to have to deal with that, I noticed that being a disabled guy now is pretty much awesome. Even though I was disabled before, yes, I was disabled before because I went for heart surgery in 06. At age 22, which me, pretty much limits me in doing a lot of shit. It doesn't show on the outside, but on the inside, I'm disabled. That's why I'm on age. That's something in Edmonton here that helps out people with disabilities. Severely disabled, even though I'm not severely disabled, but I guess you can call it severely disabled since I have severe shit going on half the time. Wow, we're getting deep right now, aren't we? But anyways, yeah. Every month age, basically, provides me a certain amount of moolah to help me out in the month. Helps me out with my rent, my food, and everything else I need to do. But I'm not a lazy asshole, like some people like to take advantage of this shit and decide not to work and live off this for the rest of their life. I'm Latino, and I have to work. It's in our genes, man. Even though I don't need to work necessarily, I want to work, because I don't feel, I, I don't want to be that lazy guy. I don't, no, not that lazy guy. I just want to work. It's just embedded into my genes. Because I have a real job. Well, not a real job, a job job, part-time, where you deal with customers all day long for three hours which is pretty good considering I can't work a full-time schedule well technically I can but age basically limits my money that they give me if I work a full-time schedule so they pretty much take money from my check from theirs matching the amount that I made over there but I still get the benefits that they provide but I'm working part-time since I can only work part-time because doctor's orders and shit Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I decided to work, like I do work. Here and there, but the last two months I haven't worked since I went for my surgery. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back. Shut up, cell phone. Good old Eddie Guerrero cell phone ring. But anyways, haven't worked in the last two months because I went for my surgery. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I made a video saying medical update in which I had to get my pacemaker redone, new battery, and basically a new lead-in, which took two months because they did it a different way, because regular pacemaker putting in takes a day surgery and I can go home the next day, but they had to do a special kind of thing in there. Where they had to put, sew the extra lead into my pacemaker, the new one, onto my heart. Yes, they sewed it onto my heart. Amazing technology we have today, holy shit. I would, yeah, damn! I don't feel a goddamn thing, but fuck, it helps me out because, like, the new pacemaker now makes me want to actually do shit because I don't feel lazy from before because my old pacemaker, I was lazy all the goddamn time. And this new one, I feel like a new different man because, like, I don't blast the fan on all night long now like I used to. And I don't breathe as hard as I used to before, like a motherfucker. Yeah, but basically I can do regular stuff, but now that my fucking foot is giving me problems because of, like, a bunch of bullshit, 
which I'm trying to fix because like getting orphotic soles since I haven't had those since I was eight years old. I have to get back, get those again to help out my foot, ease the pain, and whatever else I have because they said like I may have gout. It's not 100% proven that I have gout. So I have to go to some specialist to prove that and stuff. But still, I still have to take gout medicine because it helps out my foot. Sometimes, some days I, I don't limp, some days I do. Today I had to limp when I went out to do my things, which was voting for the Canadian election. If you've seen the John Oliver thing, you know what I'm talking about. Go watch John Oliver last week tonight about the Canadian election. It, it's brand new, you'll laugh your ass off. It's amazing. But anyways, yeah, I went to do that thing today, came back. And it's pretty much cool like to be disabled. Now that I'm getting, now I'm back on topic. It took what, six minutes? And anyways, I'm rambling on again. Notice that when I'm walking with a cane, other disabled people gives you a heads up, like say, hey, we're in the club, yo. We get special treatment. I'm thinking, holy shit, this is awesome. Cause seriously, I'm walking down the street, every disabled person, like in a wheelchair, drives by. What else am I gonna say? Drives by me, gives me a heads up, yo. I have to go, hmm. Guy with a cane walks by, he looks at me. I look at him back. Anybody with a disability, they look at us, they, we look at each other like, I don't know, is there some secret code? Is there a secret disability fight club somewhere where we're in the basement like fighting each other over who has the best disability? Oh, I'm so going to hell if I actually believe there's a hell. Hey, just because they're disabled doesn't mean they don't make fun of themselves. Because I have a friend, I have a friend who's disabled in a wheelchair who has a bunch of shit going on, and he makes fun of himself all the time because he's a comedian. He makes fun of his wheelchair isms. Is that a word? Wheelchair isms? I'm making it a word now. The disabled fight club. One, two go in. One comes out even more disabled. <laughs> What was that? Oh my god, that was just weird. Anyways, that's it for now, Humanoid Nation. I'm gonna start the Disabled Fight Club, see how it goes. <laughs> oh my god, so much hate after- I'm gonna get so much hate for this. <laughs> Take it easy, Humanoid Nation, bye. <laughs>